In this video, I want to show you a close up of the software HarmonyOS running on the MatePad 11. And in fact, I'm recording right now with the selfie cam on the MatePad 11. This is the quality that you can get. Also, the audio you can get with the quad audio microphone setup. And I would say, let's get started. So this is the default desktop and I'm using the default screen recording application on Harmony OS to record this screen. And as you can see, I've installed several applications. The question that popped up mostly was about DRM and Whitewine support on this MatePad 11. And let's go to the DRM info to see that we only have a Whitewine level three here. So that means Netflix sadly only in SD. Can take a look, look at Netflix. And here, here you can see, to log in again, here you can see under more, my Netflix apps is in German, so put me light. There we have uh, the maximum um, is SD quality that you can get. So this is the first question I think most people would ask and uh, want to know, is Netflix running in HD? Sadly, it is not. The next thing that I struggled with after the unboxing was the app advisor. You can see some games here, for example, with this little download icon on the side. They're not downloaded yet. They're just recommendations. I missed this configuration option here, which allows me to recommend more or personalized recommendations. I can turn this off and then don't have this. And if I want to get rid of those, of course, I have the option to remove one by one. And uh, sometimes they have like interesting games that I never heard of that uh, might be interesting to try out but in this case i want to demonstrate to you maybe i should have used a folder with less icons anyway if i remove the last icon you can see that the folder disappears so this is how you can get rid of those um, yeah, advising uh, apps that you don't like to have and uh, the app advisors apropos apps let's talk about apps you can see i have various different apps installed here uh, what I can recommend you to get is the pedal search that we have here for getting new applications. So if you're searching for applications that are not available in the Huawei app gallery, that is. So you can see the app gallery. It has pretty much good applications depending on your location, of course. Uh, for, for, for Germany, I can say that it has most of the application that you need. But when it comes to banking applications, for example, they are not here. And if I want to have my banking application, for example, installed, what I can do is go to a pedal search and then I can just type in my bank's name and find the app. And here you can see there is, for example, this app here that I could install. And there's even like, oh, there is one even in the app gallery that is like verified and installed. So in this case, my bank application is already in the app gallery, but I, which I didn't notice. Uh, anyway, it is there already. So you can find applications here as well. Of course, not all of those applications will work uh, when they especially depend on Google mobile services. So what I recommend then is uh, you can install gspace with gspace it allows you to install applications just like for example youtube studio or uh, someone asked me about google drive google drive is working as well as you can see it shows some advertisements and uh, then it will go straight into google drive and here you can see my google drive and my account which works just fine so this is the gspace application you can go into here it's just available in portrait mode apparently, but you can install applications here easily by just pressing on one of those hot uh, icons. It will go into, shows advertisements again, will go into the Play Store. And if you will want to install applications, you just go back here and you are in the normal Play Store. You can install every application from the Play Store that is available. What I didn't try out is like DRM support, like uh, Amazon Prime or something like this. I don't think you will get like white wine level one or something like this in here. Uh, probably it will stay at uh, white wine level uh, three for you. And that's basically everything. But yeah, this is how you can do such things and how you can install applications that require Google services and run with them in a virtual environment. What I can also recommend you here, some other uh, stores that I have, F-Droid, 
as a free and open source, very secure uh, because reproducible builds. And from Aphrodite, you can get Aurora Store, which allows you to access the Google Play Store um, without having any GMS installed. So this is what I use primarily for the um, yeah for getting my apps. Someone was asking about the Twitter client. How does the Twitter client look like? Is it optimized for tablet usage? Let's go in here. You can see not really optimized for tablet usage. Uh, you can see that it is, um, yeah, it's basically this, this phone app stretched out uh, to various different uh, things here. Uh, and yeah, the rest is working fine with the Twitter app. There's no issue. Then the Microsoft OneNote, let's go back here, Petal, someone was asking you, how did you get Microsoft OneNote installed? Uh, just search for OneNote in Petal Maps and you will find Microsoft OneNote here from APK Pure. You can just install it and it worked fine for me, as you saw in my previous video. And the same goes for Google Drive and, and uh, all the other applications that you might want to have. Then when it comes to uh, HDMI connection, there is HDMI connection available. So I can connect this via an USB type C to HDMI adapter to an HDMI monitor, but it will just clone what you can see here. There's no desktop mode whatsoever uh, available. Despite Huawei making some advertisements around the desktop mode, it is not ready yet apparently. And you can see there's no desktop mode here. And even if I go to edit, you can see there is no desktop mode that I, I can activate here. And not even the old desktop mode that my MatePad Pro provided is available here yet. Also, what I found a bit of strange is that there's no um, option for do not disturb mode in the quick toggles. You can see here, I'm not seeing it. There's a screen recording one, eye comfort mode, wireless projection. But the do not disturb mode is not in here. Of course, there is a do not disturb mode. If I go back here and press and hold longer on the sound, you can go here and you can see there's a do not disturb option and I can turn it on and can say even uh, to have it scheduled, but it's not there anymore as a quick toggle, which is a bit weird. Then another thing and tip that I would suggest everyone to do is like go into the Huawei Hisson sound effects. If you have a Bluetooth headset attached, don't go to auto because sometimes when I'm watching videos, it's adding like a 3D audio effect uh, that doesn't fit at all. So I always have it on natural sound reproduction, which is a bit better than the standard one, which saves power, of course, but will you will have like a little bit less of quality. So this is very important as well, uh, I would say. Uh, the rest of the settings, you can disable the startup sound, for example. Um, I don't mind it, but for some things, uh, system haptics and so on, you can enable as well, vibrate when ringing as well. Uh, some sounds are a bit uh, like annoying, so you can of course also go and change those sounds as well if you don't like them. Uh, then what, what else can, can I show you here? Uh, the, the options for swiping up to get a little uh, widget are working fine and you can of course, um, add those widgets then onto the desktop. What I'm missing here from my MatePad Pro is like the uh, gesture to, to go from the side up to show something. So here what we have clearly is an earlier version of Harmony OS. You can see here version number is 2.001111. And if I just take a look at my MatePad Pro, it is running on 2.001128 already, which is yeah a better uh, or newer version that has some fixes. So what I noticed with this is, for example, in this current iteration, of course, when an update will come, because I know already on the MatePad Pro an update came that fixed Bluetooth, for example, that is not fixed yet here. So when you have like the battery percentage underneath 20%, it sometimes it can appear that your Bluetooth headset has some hiccups, just reconnect and it will work fine again. So uh, this only appears for me at least when you have like a higher battery power, have your Bluetooth uh, device connected, and then it goes into power saving mode under, under 20%. And then, um, yeah, you could have some hiccups, not all the time, but this is a little annoying thing. 
So these are the basics of the MatePad 11 and things that I noticed and discovered. You can see some applications that I have installed here. By the way, if you want to get wallpapers, nice wallpapers, you can download the Wall Heaven application, which uh, gives you nice little wallpapers here that you can download. And uh, yeah, I like those. Uh, this one that I have here is also from there. Uh, lots and lots of applications and error message comes from War Heaven as well. Sometimes it failed to fetch URLs. Um, maybe let's close it to not get spammed. Anyway, um, the stylus application I showed you as well in my last app, um, in my last video. What I can recommend you, what I install usually for YouTube is YouTube Vanced. I cannot show you a lot about YouTube Vans, but because Google might block it on YouTube itself, I had one video already blocked. So I just tell you Vanced Manager, download and then hit install. Vanced Micro G have to install for the for logging to be able to log in. And uh, when it comes to software, what I really like is the Filmora Go HD pre-installed on this tablet. I really like to work with it and the last couple of videos I cut with it. It has some features still missing when I compare directly with Kinemaster. So I like Kinemaster a little bit better, but if they add a little bit to Filmora Go, then it might be very, very good um, application. I can show you here the, the keyboard and pencil video and the unboxing video has been cut here on Filmora Go. And as you can see here, has multiple uh, layers here that you can add and can uh, add some text, music, effects, uh, and all those little things here. So it's a pretty good um, yeah, application for video editing. And video editing works fine on the MatePad 11, also very quickly in rendering out those things. So if you have some questions still regarding the MatePad 11 software that runs there or things I should try out, you can write it down in the comment section. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.